Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Chermac Z713 coming at you with a brand new Sky Factory 3 episode. Let's get this guy kicked off. But if you close your eyes. So I'm bringing you guys back. I really haven't done that much in between. However, what I have done, we're going to catch you up on real quick. Um, haven't done anything complex. I have created us a crucible, though. Now, to get a crucible, what you have to do is you have to do seven unfired pro porcelain clay. Now, porcelain clay is just bone meal right next to clay inside the crafting table. Nothing crazy. Then you get the unfired. To make it fired, obviously you just throw it in the furnace. That creates a crucible. Now, with the crucible, you can throw cobblestone in it. And as long as you have a heat source underneath it, which we're using a torch, it will create lava. Now, why do we need lava? Well, we're going to need a butt ton of this stuff, which is cobblestone. Now, to get that, we're not going to use just a janky old cobblestone generator. We're going to use top of the line brand new manufactured cobblestone generator now in order to do this it is the recipe that i had in that chest you're just going to put water on one side lava on the other cobblestone on top and bottom and glass in the middle now we got ourselves infinite cobblestone and as you see there uh as i said in the last episode i did lose my lava bucket which is okay because now we got cobblestone and from cobblestone we can get iron so we are just fine let's go ahead and f7 this baby and boom let's go ahead and get her lit up now this is a very very sketchy terribly put together cobblestone generator or, uh cobblestone platform rather and uh we will fix this i promise uh i just wanted to get some stuff down with all the cobblestone i had and i was just so done with making dirt and creating cobblestone <laughs> and i am going to create a cobblestone generator um like the old school style so you have water running and then lava running into that don't worry i am going to put that over here just because i would like to have it just to show that we we can do it um and i know we can but i don't want to use you know the cheating one just because but until that time we're just going to be using the cheating one and that's fine that's fine with me we don't need proof right now everybody knows we're gonna do it so let's go ahead and grab it 21 already now we're talking let's go ahead and fill this guy get us some lava going now our lava is going to be extremely important i don't just have three crucibles for the fun of it i wasn't practicing i have it because we are going to be doing all of our power off of lava now for starters i'm probably going to begin with a uh, just a charcoal generator just so i can start doing some what is it an alloy smelter is what we're going to be powering and for an alloy smelter we're going to be using that so that we can get ourselves <clears throat> some pulsating iron i believe it's called yep here it is pulsating iron now this is what we are going to be using in all kinds of different recipes mostly for ender io and that kind of stuff but um, lava, we're not going to be able to do anything with until we have pulsating iron. So we are going to have to use some janky power to start off with. A coal generator will cover it. And then we'll move on to the lava generator. I am so excited to uh, get this everything started. I'm going to finish off this platform and maybe build the generator. I'm going to bring you guys back as soon as I'm done with that. Alright guys, so I am back. I went ahead and finished off the platform. And I also created us a little um, simple vanilla style infinite cobblestone generator. So as you can see, you got a block in the middle so the water doesn't hit this and that flows everywhere. And we just got ourselves some cobblestone. Now, I also connected the cobblestone generator, which I think looks pretty sweet. Because I think it looks like it's sort of harnessing the cobblestone making power from this guy. So still this works the same right click when we get it. Um, I did put down a lava block so that we could start smelting down some cobblestone a little bit quicker into lava. And eventually this whole thing will be these. All crucibles, all the way around. And that will create a little bit more lava for us when we're starting to do power and stuff like that. But that's a little bit ways off in the future. So for now, I think we are going to go ahead and start on the farm. Because this 
is a ways off. We're going to start needing some food, and we're going to need a lot of ender pearls and redstone and all that kind of stuff, which chickens will be able to give us. So, we're going to go ahead and grab this, some more wood. We're going to grab all the wood we have and pretty much throw everything back that we don't need. Alright, that looks about right. Now, the thing I am going to build is a couple of wands for us, just because it will make everything just a little bit easier um, once we move on to the chicken room. So, for starters, we're just going to start off with the very basic, regular plant farm. So, in order to do that, what I'm going to do... Hmm... I kind of like the idea of branching off of this, just because this is sort of our, our... We're already growing stuff over here. It's already technically a farm. Oh, this is our infinite water source for the time being. Um, but you know, I don't know if I'm going to branch off of that. So let's go ahead and head in this direction. And the middle should be right about here. One, two, three... Four, five, six is about a good bridge. I think that's that's long enough. Maybe we'll go a couple more. Yeah, let's do it. Do nine. All right. And I don't want everything to just look super wooden. So I'm thinking we might actually do the outside of our farm with cobblestone. I think that would look pretty sick. It would definitely change up um, everything a little bit. And I am sort of... I don't want to just fall into wooden. I mean, everything we've made so far is some wooden. I might throw some accents up there on this guy for wood. Or uh, for cobblestone, so that way we get some cobblestone adage and all that kind of stuff. I would like to move away from only nine... Oh, 64 and 9. Okay. I would like to move away a little bit from the wooden look. So, that's what we're going to aim for, is trying to get a little bit away from the wooden look. And we still are going to incorporate wood. I do think wood on top of slabs would look pretty sick as far as fencing and stuff like that, so we have a railing, but I do think we need to get some different textures going so we don't just get too, too, uh, brown. You know, just too much of one color, our whole place will look terrible. So, now the way I'm going to build this farm is probably going to be pretty simple to everybody, but water goes four blocks. So what I'm going to do is build it by nine. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, water source. Then it's going to be one, two, three, four. Right? And then we're going to have a corner because we're going to do a border. So, now we're going to do one, two, three, four, water source. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is going to be the range of one of our farms. Then, of course, we're going to do one, two, because we're going to have a sidewalk, then we're going to do the same thing. So I'll go ahead and just finish off around this guy. Or actually, let's go ahead and talk real quick. So I would like to talk to you guys sort of a little bit about where I'd like to see this, not just this series, but this channel in and of itself go. Um, I do have very different interests. As you guys heard last time in my story, I do love IT, I do love helping people, so I would really like to move towards... Here, let me go ahead and count this. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so I would really like to move towards doing this, because I do love gaming, I do love that kind of stuff, but I also want to do um, maybe an IT. You know, you can start doing Ubuntu for people. Two, three, four. Okay. Helping people with Ubuntu, helping people with, um, I mean, Security Plus, all the stuff they're trying to work towards that I enjoy as well. I think that would be just awesome. I really do. I think I would get a kick out of it. I think some of you guys might as well, sort of seeing what I do and how I do it and understanding me being able to explain it in a way that makes a lot more sense. I would love to start doing some how-tos and that kind of stuff on a whole different aspect. 
And uh, hopefully you guys will like it. If not, I will still continue doing this stuff. And I'll try to keep up with it at the same pace because I do love making this. And of course, IT is going to be my job one day. So I don't want to burn myself on that either. But I would like to start doing that just to get myself some more practice, get myself out there. One, one two, three, four. Sorry, I keep losing track while I'm, uh, <laughs> while I'm working as well. So, there's going to be one, and there's going to be one, two, three, four. Now, I know this channel, I didn't build it just for me. I built it a lot for you guys, too. So, I would like to know what you guys sort of think about the whole idea that I'm pitching to you. And if you guys don't like it, then let me know. Okay, so as I was saying, I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this whole thing. Um, if you guys don't like the idea, I mean, I'm probably going to try it out anyway. I will make sure I do get out as many Minecraft videos as I can. I'll probably start up a couple different series. I'm going to try out, I mean, just a regular Feed the Beast. I also have a realm that one of my buddies had started. It's a good seven that I was talking about in the last episode. He also started a realm that he would like me to do vanilla with him on. I think that would be a lot of fun. We'll sort of see where that goes. Um, I will incorporate this as much as I can, though. I really do think that Linux and IT and helping people out with that kind of stuff would be an awesome, fun thing to do. But I also don't want to cut back on the stuff that you guys are liking right now. That's not what I'm trying to do. And that's not what I'm ever going to try to do. But I would like to sort of get myself out there a little bit more if I can. If you guys have any other, I mean, comments of videos you guys would like to see before I start them all off, if you guys want to see, uh, I mean, a Tech It or a, a different game altogether, if you guys want to see me play some retro Beto Sarah games, that would be awesome. I think that would be a lot of fun. That is also a project I would like to start doing on YouTube is showing people how to use Beto Sarah, which is, uh, Beto Sarah is simply just a retro gaming system for your computer. So that way you can do, I mean, everything from GameCube down. You can go GameCube, N64, PlayStation 1, all the way down through all those, all the way to Atari and even some old arcades towers. That's a program I have worked with quite a bit. I had a, I had a little tiny old Optiplex 360. For those of you who know computers, that's what I was sort of working on, which is, I mean, it's a $20 computer. So for $20 and about $8 in parts to build it all the way up, I was able to create a GameCube, PlayStation, Xbox, N64, all these crazy cool games completely for free. Um, the ROMs you do have to pay for. You can get them for free, but it is illegal, so I will not be covering that part of it. Um, I'm sure you can figure it out. But that's something I won't acquaint myself with just because I do respect YouTube and I do appreciate them letting me make my videos on here. I don't want to get a distrust or a flag for any reason I don't need to. But I think that would be an awesome project. I think everyone would get a kick out of that. Being able to play, I mean, some old awesome games. And even, I mean, younger kids would be... I think intrigued with playing games that I grew up with, you know, games of the, the thousands that I thought were, you know, groundbreaking, and now you got games that look like you're in real life, you know, so it is it is a cool thing to look back on that kind of stuff, and I think a lot of people get a kick out of me setting up a Beto Serra system with them. Alright, so as you can see, this is sort of going to be our farm area, so we're going to have dirt fill in all these, and then water blocks right in the middle, just one in the middle, and it'll branch out to all this because water does move four blocks with saturation. So I think that'll be awesome. I'm probably going to fill this in off camera just because it'll take a long time. However, our, our episode today is going to be pretty short because I think all I'm going to do is start making a platform underneath. A lot of this is going to get done off camera. I just wanted to bring you guys in and sort of show you what I was working on. Our first two episodes were extremely long episodes. I hope you enjoyed those. I will make more long episodes, but this part of the game is really just a grind. And if you would like to see me go through all of it, I would be more than happy to bring you guys along, tell you some stories, talk about different things that I find interesting. However, I don't want to force you guys to be there with me if you don't want to be. Because um, until we start getting into crazy machines and different stuff like that, it really is just quite a grind. So I'll probably bring you guys back in the next episode 
We'll have some chickens going. We'll have a farm going. This place is going to be looking a lot different. If you would like to be there for the whole walkthrough of that stuff, feel free to let me mow. <coughs> feel free to let me mow. <laughs> feel free to let me know because I'd be more than happy to bring you guys along. I just don't want to bring you along on something you want nothing to do with. <laughs> so, for now, I think we're going to cut it off real quick. I do appreciate you guys stopping by. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you would like to add anything to the series, feel free to do so. Until next time, guys, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. But if you close your eyes...